Welcome to the show, everybody. Oh, in sunny London town. Now, uh, very excited to be here. Really, because I, I feel like I've hardly been on television recently. <laughs> uh, did anyone watch the BAFTAs? Anyone watch the BAFTAs? Yes. Well, I say watched it. Some of it. I mean, nobody watched all of it. <laughs> uh, it was a bit risky, I thought, having it sponsored by Sky Plus. Do you know what I mean? A gadget designed to help you skip the boring bits. <laughs> Welcome to Baptist. Bluda, Kenny Brook and Rob. Oh, that's Gavin and Stacey. Bluda. Well done, Brucey. Good night. <laughs> now, what can I tell you about my guests tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Well, for seven years, some people thought one of my guests was actually in charge of America. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> not him. <laughs> they didn't even let him cut up his own food. No, I'm, uh, I'm talking about Hollywood star Martin Sheen, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. The man, the man who was the president in the West Wing. He was also the star of Apocalypse Now, but uh, probably best known for his range of furniture polish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little known fact I came across in my research there. Yeah. <laughs> Very career. Uh, now, Martin, no, in fairness, he starred in so many classic films there. Uh, Badlands, Wall Street, Catch Me If You Can, and, of course, Apocalypse Now. What a great film that was, wasn't it? About a man who went into the jungle, lost his mind, and came home a hero. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, on television, Martin starred as President Bartlett in the West Wing. Oh, there he is. Now, oh, look, looks like Prince William visiting his girlfriend, doesn't he? <laughs> I love that story. Did you see it? Prince William using the armor helicopter to visit Kate? Yeah, he landed one on her lawn. Now, apparently... <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got there yet. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, it was a simulated training exercise. Yeah, because we all know how much a rack looks like a well-manicured home county's garden, don't we? <laughs> yes. I tell you, if there ever is a war on a well-mown lawn with tea laid out at one end, mm -hmm, this, rest assured, this country is ready, less <laughs> yes, <it> is. <laughs> in fact, you could say that Will's chopper was in Kate's neatly trimmed lady garden. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> he fucked her. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, right up the water feature. Now, uh, my other guest tonight says he hates being known as just the voice of Carphone Warehouse. So he is a stand up comedian and the voice of Carphone Warehouse. <laughs> Ed Byrne is here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, he is. <laughs> Ed. Ed really makes me laugh. And it's good to laugh, isn't it, when there's so much sad news in the world? For example, I was very sad to learn that this man is tragically battling bulimia. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't make it up, could you? <laughs> what if the price of food's going up? He's eating it all. <laughs> no, no, no. Poor bulimic John Prescott. His wife said that she first worried about John when she noticed food going missing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and his trouser button shot the cat. <laughs> See, you know what they say about bulimics? When they look in the mirror, they see a fat person. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, scientists, dear friends, have calculated how John would look if he hadn't thrown up any of the food he'd eaten. <laughs> hey, not as bad as I thought. Anyway, let's meet my guests. Later in the show, we love music from Will I Am and Cheryl Cole. But first, what's that moment? I'm good, thank you. Very good. And yourself, Ed? I'm good. I'm excited. I know. It's Martin Sheen. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just sit and stare at you for a while. We were, <laughs> we were roaring at that uh, poor bulimic oh, person. Right no, because he's a politician here. Yes, I heard. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And you know, he wrote this book, and we were expecting, you know, surprises and secrets yeah. and what have you. Yeah. You know, maybe an affair here or yeah. there, a fight number 10. Yeah. No one saw the bulimia coming. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Nobody saw that one coming. <laughs> it's your common everyday gluttony. That's what it is. That's <laughs> what it is. But right. Eddie, see, I can imagine him sticking his fingers down his throat to try and force more in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, or, or when he went to vomit, he put down chocolate fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the poor devil. I mean, it's outrageous. <laughs> it is, but oh, he's nice and full. Um, <laughs> politicians, politicians. I mean, obviously because of the West Wing, you're kind of you've been drawn into that world. Yeah. I'm not in the West Wing. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> and because now, uh, in terms of, of politics at the moment, uh, you've been quite vocal as not being a supporter of uh, Mr. Bush. Oh, is that who he was? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, well, when when the West Wing started, we had a different president, Mr. Clinton, who loved the show, was a big supporter. And uh, after the new administration came in, the entire staff was invited to come to the White House and meet their uh, uh, contemporaries, what do you call them? Uh, their um, counterparts, counterparts uh, all but me. And so I was very relieved. <laughs> <laughs> but, was it, but you, at one point, you, you wrote a letter of apology to Bush. Is well, that right? I, I, I drew a lot of criticism in a speech I made one day because I, I called him an old drunk. <clears throat> and so I, <laughs> I apologized. <laughs> I apologized when I, I took a lot of heat and I said, I, let's be honest, he's not old. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you go on record as calling him a moron as I well? I did, yes. And I, <laughs> I, I regretted that too because he's far worse. But... <laughs> Big mistake on my part. Because now, because uh, Bush, he, he came to Ireland. Yeah, I remember. Why that. did he go to Ireland? I oh, left. Just to annoy him. <laughs> you left. <laughs> just wanted to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> there, was, there was a big, I don't know if you read about this, there was because he, he went over there a few years ago and there was a big diplomatic fiasco about it because he wanted to bring armed secret servicemen with him. Ah, yeah. And you're not supposed to have a gun in Ireland unless you're in the Irish police special branch or the army or you bought in a pub. <laughs> <laughs> And so there was a big thing saying, you know, we have to second the unit of the army to you, we have to second the unit of the special branch because you're not, you can't bring in your own armed guards. And in typical sort of US diplomatic fashion, they went, we don't care, we're bringing blokes with guns. And in typical Irish fashion, we went, God, fair enough, then, and you come. Like, <laughs> you're very welcome, they're very lovely men, very lovely guns. <laughs> Buy something green on your way out. <laughs> now, you're not spending that much time in England. You're off to, is it off, you're off to Spain? Yes. Yeah. <gasps> lovely. Yeah. That'd be nice. You're not flying out of Terminal 5, are you? I'm not. No. <laughs> I heard about that. Yeah, because yeah. I, I would just take hand carry on if I was you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which they may well lose as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have you done Terminal You haven't done Terminal 5. I have, yeah, yeah. And what happened? I have. Uh, I was a lucky. Oh, well, I didn't, I didn't check in any luggage. Um, so I wasn't lucky. I was clever. <laughs> <laughs> They just, yeah, I don't, I don't know about you, I, I don't really like to travel. I like to be in different places. I don't mm. actually like it. I don't know if you ever hear people say, getting there is half the fun. Oh, no. <laughs> you must have shit holidays. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah, they, I get my luggage lost on average once out of every time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It always annoys me when they ask you, like, have you you, all, the, all the questions that you get, like, they want to know the full history of your bags before they go and lose them on you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pack these bags yourself? No, I have people who do that for me. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, how many servants do you think I have? 